What is artificial intelligence? Why is it artificial? Is it really intelligent? So many questions. And in today's video, we bring you the answers to some of these AI related questions. Artificial intelligence is not a new phenomenon, but it's only recently that it's become the talk of the town. If you feel confused by the multiple, often even controversial, descriptions of what artificial intelligence is or isn't, that's completely fair. Taking into account that there's no agreement on the definition of artificial intelligence, and that the technology which can be understood under this umbrella term is changing at a fast pace, it's difficult to pinpoint what artificial intelligence really is. In today's video, we will try to shed some light on what artificial intelligence means and whether it's a good or bad thing. What does AI really mean? The sci-fi world, along with futurists, like to suggest that artificial intelligence amounts to sinister robots who become obsessed with eradicating humanity. It's fun to contemplate such fantasies, but they nonetheless give us the false impression about what artificial intelligence actually is. Let's look at what it means through the example of artificial intelligence used to hire people. You need to hire someone for a role with specific requirements. To create an AI-based system for this purpose, you need to feed the requirements the job entails into an algorithm. How do you do it? Well, the easiest, if available, is to feed previous CVs into the algorithm of both successful and unsuccessful applicants. This provides the software with examples of what constitutes a successful application. The chilling thing, though, is that we do not know how the machine reasons. This is called the black box effect, referring to the problem that data goes into the system, which in return processes it and as an output generates new data. But we do not know how exactly it processed the data. Is artificial intelligence good or bad? There are areas where the application of AI-based systems are productive. Artificial intelligence can do a good job at very narrow tasks that can be made to look like mathematics, like playing chess or modeling climate change. However, corporations and governments want to use it for lots of other tasks, because it's cheaper than paying a person. The problem starts when people think AI is smarter than it is. That quote originates from Meredith Broussard, a data journalist, who calls attention to the injustices that arise from applying artificial intelligence in areas which it cannot understand, and as an outcome, it makes bad decisions. Algorithms can't understand a crucial part of our essence, such as morality, culture, art, history, or emotion, as these cannot be expressed in a mathematical equation. One of the places artificial intelligence is used a lot on social media channels. For example, Facebook uses algorithms to block or take down content that breaks its rules. AI is the most transformative technology of our time. From precision agriculture to precision medicine, from personalized e-commerce to personalized education, and from connected cars to connected homes, it's likely you're already experiencing many of the everyday applications of AI in your life. In this video series, you'll learn how AI works and why it matters. You'll see how with AI, we can use data to train computers on just about anything. You'll explore how we can use AI to simulate neural networks in order to learn and how AI enables computers to recognize objects too. And importantly, you learn about the broad societal impacts of AI and how to guard against unintended consequences. It's inspiring to see what AI can do in the hands of change makers who harness it to address society's most pressing challenges. At the same time, we must ensure we build AI responsibly, taking a principled approach and asking the difficult questions, like not what computers can do, but what computers should do. The motion that we are going to discuss... The experiment pits a human against a computer. What we are trying to accomplish here is really to demonstrate that we can have a meaningful and valuable discussion between man and machine. The supercomputer has evolved, and with it, artificial intelligence. Proof? This debate on government subsidies for space travel, where it's a human versus machine. There are two criteria that I believe the government needs to meet before subsidizing something. It being a basic human need, we don't see space exploration meeting that. And B, that this is something that can't otherwise exist. The computer listens and rebuts. Subsidizing space exploration is like investing in really good tires. It may not be fun to spend the extra money, but ultimately you know both you and everyone else on the road will be better off. Disconnected from the internet, IBM's computer system searches through hundreds of millions of preloaded articles to come up with its arguments. It removes redundancies and comes up with the best response to a human argument, but its conclusions are still largely made using stats and data, as opposed to nuance and subjectivity that humans master. And the audience said, that by and large the humans were better speakers, more persuasive, but, the, but our artificial intelligence project debater 
was more knowledgeable and they learned more from project debater than from the human speaker. Discover the true power of artificial intelligence for security, for brilliant photos, anytime you want, for beautiful videos, for fun, and games, for when you travel, for all the applications still to be imagined. MediaTek Helio P90 is an AI powerhouse. Built with MediaTek's most incredible AI engine to date, it brings intelligent experiences to your smartphone through everything you do. Giving you the most advanced apps and experiences available today. Find out what the MediaTek Helio P90